As we know all too well, extreme weather has taken a toll on people across the country, including homeowners here in our area. But many found out the hard way that their insurance policy was not enough to cover damages. CBS 2's Vanessa Murdoch here now in studio with more on how to best protect your home and your property. Vanessa? Well, we know all too well extreme weather has already left its mark this summer across the tri-state area. Flash flooding ravaged parts of the lower Hudson Valley. 13 tornadoes touched down in the Garden State this year so far well above the average of just two. And now the tropics, well, they heat up as we speak. I spoke up with experts about what insurance you need. The threats from extreme weather are many. Winds that rip off shingles and siding, send trees toppling, or in some cases blow through with enough force to create projectiles. Storm surge that moves homes off foundations and flash flooding that rips through them. Even though the concept of natural disasters is not new, the caliber and the, and the scale and the intensity of what we're seeing now is presenting new challenges. Dr. Lisa Dale of Columbia Climate School says we look to insurance to not only protect us from losses, but as a trigger for us to understand potential risk we face. And risk, especially from extreme rainfall, is expanding geographically beyond FEMA special flood hazard areas. In the past six years, we've seen up to 40% of all federally backed insurance claims outside of these flood zones. Thomas Song, a resiliency specialist with FEMA, encourages everyone to look into flood insurance. Flooding is not covered by your homeowner's policy. And as little as one inch of water can cost as much as $25,000 in damage. Flood insurance is it's kind of like wearing a seatbelt, right? right? It, it doesn't cause something unfortunate not to happen. But if it did, it can kind of lessen that impact. Flood insurance covers damage from rising water and storm surge. If the sewer backs up because of flooding, it's covered. Well, what most people really wonder is if the pipes burst in my basement, the basement floods or any room, is that considered flooding? And no, that is not. It's typically covered by a standard home, condo or renter's insurance policy. In 2023, flood insurance backed by the National Flood Insurance Program cost an average of $1,304 in New York, a 3% increase from 2022. In New Jersey, $1,209, an increase of 2%. Flood insurance is the largest insurance gap we see in the U.S. today. Only 4% of U.S. homeowners have flood insurance. But most have home, condo, or renter's insurance. And Mark Friedlander, spokesperson for Insurance Information Institute, says this is a good thing when it comes to extreme weather. Whether it's a windstorm, a hailstorm, a blizzard, all those are covered by a standard home insurance policy as well as a condo policy and a renter's policy. Your roof gets blown off and rain fills your home? You don't need flood insurance for that type of loss. Friedlander adds, if you live in a hurricane-prone area, which we do, your standard policy likely includes a separate windstorm deductible. When it applies, varies state to state. In New Jersey, damage from a storm designated a hurricane where sustained wind speeds measure at least 74 miles per hour in the Garden State. In New York, the trigger varies by insurer. Some require Category 1 hurricane status, some Category 2. Now that we are entering peak hurricane season, it's really essential to check your policy. Know what coverage you have. Does it line up with your risk of impact by extreme weather? Now, if you don't have flood insurance but are thinking about getting it, Friedlander highlights flood insurance backed by the National Flood Insurance Program requires 30 days to take effect. Now, private policies take less time and typically cover additional living expenses. To insure your car against weather extremes, including flooding, Friedlander says you need comprehensive coverage and 80% of drivers have this. Jessica and Christine, back to you. Thank you, Vanessa.